What's up everybody, Go Burns, welcoming you to Racing Badly in Grand Theft Auto Online on the PlayStation 4 with my PS4 character GB in his T20 and this is a user created race, Lander Rodder, made by Crone. By the way, if you're on the PlayStation 4 and you have Grand Theft Auto Online and you want to try out this awesome race that Crone made, it is linked below in the description section. And I'm already in second place. What a shock. So we were waiting, Crone and I, for a few minutes, at least 30 or so, trying to get people to join the race. No! No! They <laughs> hit the rocks in the water. No! See? Land or water? <laughs> I went from the land to the fucking water. No! <laughs> ah, what else is new? I always suck at racing. That's why the show's called Racing Badly, which, by the way, usually airs two days a week, Tuesdays and Saturdays. And it's time for a barrel roll. <laughs> yeah, I got the checkpoint. Oh, they hit a barrier. Still in second place, and Crone is right in front of me. But if you have a race that you've created for Grand Theft Auto Online, either on the Xbox One or PlayStation 4, that you'd like featured in Racing Badly, send it my way, and I will feature it somewhere down the road. Uh, maybe a Saturday or next week, or you, you never know. And you can uh, usually the best bet to uh, get it to me is either message me by the Facebook page or you can email me goburns at gmail.com and <laughs> freaking crone is lagging big time <laughs> it's goburns v crone gamer dawn of lag <laughs> my god what's up with this shit I mean, look at him <laughs> And he thinks I'm lagging, too, so I guess we're both lagging in each other's uh, screens. <laughs> Fuck. That car lagged right in front of me. So lap two here. Still in second place, but I'm gaining ground against Crone. And uh, speaking of, uh, like, uh, movies that I was obviously uh, making a, a joke to riff on, uh, what did you guys... Ow! Oh, that sucked. What did you guys think about Batman v Superman? I watched it Sunday with a friend of mine. And I'm going to give you my spoiler-free review on it. I thought it was better than what most critics uh, thought. Yes, we're doing another barrel roll because barrel rolls are fucking awesome. <laughs> so I thought it was better than what everyone else was saying, all the uh, so-called critics out there. But at the same time, it wasn't the best thing ever. I will, I will admit that. It was way better than Batman and Robin or Superman 4. <laughs> But, no, it was no um, Dark Knight or uh, Batman Begins. No, I've blown up. <laughs> I died. Uh, that usually happens in Racing Badly as well. My issues with it was I thought the, the runtime was a little long, and there was too much stuff going on. And, honestly, I didn't like how the ending went down. It felt too cliche. Honestly, I'm not going to spoil anything. That's just how I felt. Now, I did think that uh, Bad Flag did a really good job. So... I think that Ben is now Batman. Even though Christian Bale is still my favorite live-action Batman, Ben Affleck is a very, very close second. And Gal Gadot, I hope I pronounced her name correctly, wow, fantastic Wonder Woman. I cannot wait till the Wonder Woman movie comes out. I bet that's going to be good. And uh, Eisenberg as Lex, eh, not so much. I, I wasn't really feeling it because I guess I just have this vision for what Lex Luthor is. And to be fair, they've always gotten it wrong in live-action movies. Like the uh, Superman movies, uh, by, played by Gene Hackman. Even though I love Gene Hackman, I think he's awesome. I just didn't like the way they portrayed Gene Hackman as some underground uh, criminal. I like the way that he's portrayed in uh, the Batman animated series and Justice League, voiced by the legendary Clancy Brown. And they kind of got that halfway right when it came to uh, Eisenberg's version of Lex Luthor. He was rich, powerful. You know, worldwide owner of uh, LexCorp. But he wasn't big and, and muscular and smart. Well, he was smart. But he wasn't, you know, suave and, you know, like, I don't know, charismatic. I mean, Jesse Eisenberg's Lex Luthor felt like he was on too many meds or, or something. I don't know what the deal was. But a lot of people were like, well, he technically was, you know, Lex Luthor Jr. or something. I, I don't know if that's true or not. But anyways... I thought the movie was okay. It could have been worse. It could have been way better. I think that if they would have edited it down a little bit and uh, maybe did away with some of the cliches, 
and um, or maybe just uh, broke it into a two-parter. Maybe it would have been better. I don't know. But anyways, I thought Batman v Superman was okay. And I'm currently in uh, first place. So how the hell did that happen? <laughs> <laughs> I got the jump, the lag power. <laughs> Go Burns, going in for the win with GB on the PS4 in the T20. See, this is why a T20 is the best bet when you're going up against an entity. Oh yeah. <laughs> Whoa, got him away. Oh shit! <laughs> Fucking lag, Rockstar. Do something about your servers. And look at this! I got the goal today! Unfreaking believable! See, Crony's an awesome racer, but sometimes he likes to goof off. He likes to have fun, and sometimes it costs him the win. But I got it! I will take the gold any day of the week. <laughs> and, of course, $6,700 in my pocket. Don't forget the races link below in the description section for you to check out yourself on the PS4. And congratulations to GB, today's winner of Racing Badly.